Hey Betha, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Betha. I'm so glad to have you guys here. If you're the first time on my channel, please do all to hit on subscribe button before you leave. Also give this video a very big thumbs up right now or at the end if you enjoyed watching it, okay? Guys, before I even say anything in this video, happy independence to all our Ghanaian Bethans, okay? I know it was yesterday, you know, but then... I wanted to say it in the night, but then I started crying in the night. Now, moving straight into the video, I know some of you watched the video from last night and you're like, oh, Betta is such a crybaby, guys. I don't even know why those tears keep coming. Like, I don't understand it. But anyways, guys, let's talk, okay? So yesterday night, we saw Ipeleng, you know, our ultimate veto power holder, and of course, Miracle, right? And I don't know, they were talking, and then before we knew what was happening, Uncle Miracle gave Ipeleng a peck on the forehead, and it's like, hmm now in my mind i want to say oh this is so cute this is so cute but then i just go on the internet and people are like hmm miracle and tatsi now they say what's up group then they so you guys remember that immediately ipelem won the ultimate veto power you know tatsi started having a conversation with her more like advising her oh be careful what you say you know be careful what you do this or like just giving her advice in general and people are like madam relax ipelem not be small picky way good advice all this was you are doing a strategy we don't believe it then, then i'm like Wahala. but then for miracle i don't understand how people are still saying it's a strategy because he was already with this girl even before she won the ultimate veto power so if they are still seen together for me i don't think that's out of place even the taxi taxi is this girl's friend you know some people just have a way of you know translating things and to be honest you cannot really blame them because we've seen since you know we've seen this in biggest house so it's really difficult to believe people when they say you know white is white even when we can see it's white we want to look at it and say, mm, are you sure this is not caramel blue you know caramel pink <laughs> guys i don't know but let me know do you think that you know taxi advising Ipeleng last night was just unnecessary. Do you think it's a strategy or do you think she's just trying to be a nice friend, you know, so to speak? And then for Miracle, like, what do you guys think? Like, do you think it's a strategy as well? Now, I even have one question. I know I asked this question yesterday. I have it again today. Okay, guys, do you think that Ipeleng, if she had the chance to save one person, one person, just one person we don't know what her veto power is going to be about because it's still in the box you know even though we've been speculating oh she might save somebody she might evict somebody she might do this she might do that guys we don't know for sure but let me just ask this imagine if she had to save somebody and evict somebody who do you think she would save out of black boy miracle and tatsy because these are like the people that she's close to in the house so um do you think she will save her former partner, Black Boy? Do you think she will save her newly found love interest, Miracle? Or do you think she will save her best friend, Tatsy? Guys, it's a tough one, but I don't know. Like, for me, I feel like she might just save Black Boy. You know, it's not really that deep with Miracle. And then Tatsy, mm, I don't really know. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section, okay? Anyways, guys, moving on from that, let's talk about Tabang and Kossi. So last night, yeah, both of them were in Santin. They were on Kossi's bed and, you know, there was a picture of, you know, Yemi Craig's on his graduation day and a letter. And in my mind, I'm like, hmm, where this letter from come? Of course, even Tabang was curious about it. And, you know, Kossi mentioned that, you know, Yemi gave it to her. So apparently, before Yemi got evicted from the show, you know, he had handed the picture and a letter to Yvonne. You know to give it to Kossi just in case he gets evicted and i'm like wait like did yemi know that he was leaving because i mean even with the viewers we did not know we did not see that coming you know maybe his instinct already told him i really don't know guys but whatever the case he dropped a letter and a picture from his graduation day you know with yvonne and of course yvonne did the honors of just you know delivering the message to Kossi and you know Kossi had placed it on the wall you know more like on the bed frame you know so that when she's sleeping the picture is there so now she's having a conversation with Tabang and Tabang is like oh Yemi dropped the picture for you so I'm like yeah that he actually gave the picture and the letter to Yvonne and Tabang too was like did he know he was leaving like this one that he dropped the picture did he have you know did he know that he was going to leave biggie's house and he was like okay maybe it was his instincts you know and so the content of the letter there was a part of it that had i love you you know i mean i love you and then taban is like you guys say i love you to each other or it's just love you you know that's what he asked her and she didn't say anything you know she was just smiling that her nonsense smile that she would always be smiling and then the guy's like hmm 
it seems like you want me to say something like you want me to actually say something about it and she's like no 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 i don't want you to say anything i mean what can i say what can i say, I say hmm. what can you say what can you say she goes oh no that in fact eh, that let them just be going because this position that she's not really comfortable with it like the way they were positioned on the bed you know that she wasn't really comfortable with it oh, is it just love right. Where did you get it from? Yvonne gave it to me. He gave it to Yvonne to give it to you? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I knew he was leaving. That's crazy. I feel like you want me to say something and... No, I don't want you to say anything. So... <laughs> I don't want you to say anything. I mean, what would you say? There's nothing to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, I don't like the position. Young Krasopa, let's move. <laughs> I was like, check that person putting up for that position. Why you they make noise now? Say, eh, you don't like this position. Uh, uh, uh. Before obviously, before people will start saying things like it was just really funny. But guys, let me know because I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, cussy you and this small boy, blah 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 blah. You know why are you even talking to Tabang? You know, like you guys, I don't think that there's anything we will do now that will stop Tabang and Cussy from speaking. Like that's just a fact, okay? And I don't see anything wrong with her actually speaking to Tabang. You know, the only time I have a problem is when when i listen to the conversation they're having and i feel like certain things are off you cannot tell her not to speak to taban guys regardless of whatever emotions they have for one another they are friends okay they have a good friendship and that's something that you know i would not want to you know choke my mouth and all of that but when it comes to the kind of conversation she has that's where i will now have a problem because you don't already promise you me say hello if you go i will comport if you you go you to comport you know so i'm trying to make sure that i don't miss out on any of their conversations but for yesterday's conversation i don't think there's anything out of place because again she probably would have hidden the picture and the letter from tabang or maybe just maybe kosti also knows what she's doing she's probably operating on tabang the same way i feel like tabang is operating on her see at this point in time yeah everybody is playing a game because now they're not even in pairs anymore now individual race any way you want to play them either by crook or by you know whatever means just make sure to play the game make sure to get to the finals and you know probably even win the money so i feel like both of them know what they are doing there and I'm just going to keep my eyes on them and just pay attention to their conversations, okay? But guys, for this particular scenario that I painted, you know, two of them talking on the bed and talking about the pictures, do you think there was anything wrong with that conversation? I mean, I wouldn't know. I really want to hear your thoughts, okay? Now, before I end this video, oh, good. See, internet people, once they don't like you, they don't like you. I don't understand. Jenny O made a tweet and these people have dragged Jenny O by the brains, like, they literally dragged this girl yesterday night. I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. so I know you'll be wondering, like, ah, uh ah, -uh, Jenny, oh, like, really? What did she tweet? Why is it that bad? Blah, 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 blah. Guys, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, it's the fact that people were literally asking, who is she? I'm like, ah, uh ah, -uh, you people should stop it now. You people should stop it now. Can you be asking, who is Jenny? Oh, <laughs> but it's sad, guys, because. These housemates, like, once they leave, all the housemates that left the house, I'm, I don't think I've heard anything about them. Like, it seems like they just disappear into thin air. People like Teothro, Sandra, Meli, like, I've really not heard anything about them since their evictions and all of that. I don't know, guys, but yeah, the tweet that, you know, Jenny O made, she was literally saying, Omo, in fact, let me read that out for you guys. She said, Omo, last, last, it won't be the fans that will separate Yvonne and I. What is understood doesn't need to be explained. Of course, I'll put that on the screen for you guys as well. But guys, what do you make out of this tweet? Like, what is understood doesn't need to be explained. Last, last, it will not be fans that will separate Yvonne and I. Like, madam, why now? Why are you tweeting about it now? Why do you say, nah, now? Why are you not tweet them since? Why now now where you see Jake come out? I mean, it raises a lot of eyebrows, yes, but I don't know what she means by it will not be fans, you know, separating Yvonne and I. What is understood doesn't need to be explained. Like, she's saying that they can no longer be friends, you know, 
for whatever reason because again this girl when she came out of the house she was granted interviews here and there and just saying a lot of trash like i don't know and when i say trash i don't mean she was calling yvonne mad or stupid or anything like that but it was basically trying to say oh you know with the whole gcj situation like she just seemed to have a problem with the fact that you know yvonne ended up falling in love quote and unquote you know with uh, what's his name now gcj when in the first place they had agreed to play a game like the thing they pay them and Huh, guys let me know what do you think and let me tell you like i said i was reading through the comments and i was just like ah ah actually you work for you guys this one not plenty like this like what is going on but let me know what you guys think about jenny o and the tweets just probably what it means if you have an idea okay i would really really love to know that okay now that's all the gist i have for you guys on this particular video let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section some people have been saying ipeleng is such a waste of ultimate veto power like how do you guys say these things how do you guys even think of these things like if god says this is for somebody i don't care if you don't agree like our agreeing or disagreeing doesn't really change anything she's getting to the finals like and that's on period okay so people need to actually watch what they say about people i mean i mean like no nah, i feel like that was too much guys let me know do you think it was too much or do you think it was actually a waste of ultimate veto power like let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section okay i love you guys so much and i will definitely definitely see you guys on the next one bye guys